Hello friends and welcome back to OOP series for PHP and in this episode we are going to learn about the interface system in our OOP's PHP. So with that I am your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about many things from Laravel to Vue to PHP and much more coming in the future. So if you are interested don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's create a new file for learning about the interface so I will create a let's create a folder so interface folder and before going ahead let's first understand why we need the interface so interface is generally needed to have same type of nomenclature in the code system so suppose you are working with a team and you have created some function and the other team member created same type of function with other name so obviously there will be a conflict so let's first understand what I am saying so I will create a new file called shapes.php and let's open php tag and here I will create a class called triangle and let's create a simple function let's say get area okay and I'm not going to calculate the area so I will just echo out uh, triangle area okay so this is good let's again do same thing for rectangle so rectangle okay and here I have to say rectangle so rectangle area is here and suppose some other person has not given this get area he has given this function name as calculate area okay so this is good both will calculate area or get the area but obviously if some user is trying to get the area so firstly if he has introduced with the triangle so he will do like this new triangle okay then he will say try arrow area and this will give the area so echo out this and I will go to interface slash shapes dot php and it's giving triangle area yeah this should be get area so get area okay so obviously if user going to get the area for a rectangle he will surely do the same thing for rectangle okay so this will give a conflict because now rectangle function does not have any get area so you have to force your team or even yourself also to create the same functionality or the same nomenclature for whole of your project so what I can do here I can create an interface what is interface interface just force you to have some functions in your class so if I give here shape interface dot php and I have to say php here so in a normal class we will use class keyword but here because we are creating an interface so we have to use interface okay and interface name is shape interface okay that's good and this interface will only have the function so we can create public function get area okay and we have to close this we don't have to give the structure of area so actually this interface will tell the classes which are going to implement this interface that you have to implement this function otherwise I will give you error so let's first implement this so I will say implements then shape interface okay now we have to include this interface in our page so I will say include then shapes interface that's good and you can see we are getting the area for the triangle that's nice let's go to chrome and reload and you can see we are still getting area but suppose now I want to get the same thing for our rectangle so I will comment this and make this as a rectangle and these are 
rec only and I'm going to get the implementation for this. So let's implement shape interface and let's see what happened. Let's first even comment this also. We are implementing shape interface in our rectangle class and let's see the result. Everything is good. Let's go to Chrome, reload. You can see class rectangle contain one abstract method and must therefore be declared. Okay, this means it's going to say that you have to implement this get area method in your class. So instead of this calculate area, if I say get area and if I reload, no error. This means now our this function will work and we should get the get area. So you can see if you not giving the function decided by the interface, then you will get the error. You can even implement more than one interface for single class. You just have to give the name of the interface by using the comma. So suppose you have geometry interface, interface, and let's just create also. So I will create a geometry interface dot PHP and that should be PHP and so interface and geometry interface good and this will give public function and get uh, circumference okay and that's good you can even define here the value so if you say value 1 comma dollar value 2 this means whenever you have to implement this function you must have to provide this variables or the parameters for this function also so let's just go here and let's go to chrome and refresh so geometry interface not found because i have to include this also from here so geometry interface okay so let's go here refresh and now it says class triangle contain one abstract method and must be therefore declared so you can see get circumference we have to include here we don't have any get circumference function here so here we have to define that get circumference so i will say public function get circum Reference. okay and let's first echo out anything doesn't matter check this so reload this and now it says get circumference function has to be get these two values so value 1 and value 2 so I have to say here value 1 comma value 2 or even you can say length and breadth okay so it all depend upon you so no error and we have echoed system here so that's why it's echoing out and if I don't give no error so in this way you can use interface more than one interface also and this you can force your team to provide same structure of your coding system all over your project so if you have any doubt please feel free to message me comment me and if you have learned something from bitfumes you if you want to donate then you can donate via people and via patreon.com and if you don't want just do one thing subscribe to my channel and like bitfilms on facebook twitter and instagram okay so we will meet in the next episode with new features till then goodbye